Lotus has been famous for its mid-engine sports cars for many years now. And that layout always gives us a beautifully balanced proportion. The upper part of the car sits perfectly between the wheels. The proportion is very beautiful. Every Lotus has been about adding lightness. And of course, really clever aerodynamics. The way that the air is taken through the car, not just over it, creates beautiful shapes. We've used all of these design principles, plus the fact that we don't have a traditional internal combustion engine means it is unique. And with Electra, we've created the first Lotus SUV. Designing the Elettra was really a journey of applying hypercar principles to an SUV. The cabin on the car is set forward to really give you a strong sense of the mid-engine proportion that everyone recognises Lotus for, and it gives you a really strong indication that this is an EV. The sculpture of the car is really dominated by the bold muscular fenders over the wheels that emphasise the power. The vehicle has a really planted stance. We've managed to achieve this by elongating the wheelbase and creating the effect of very, very short overhangs. We have one dynamic line that flows all the way from the sharp line at the front through the side of the car, culminating with a light blade at the rear of the car. The sculpture of the car is really defined by the idea of it being carved by air. It's very much where we've reduced material from the body and it's visually sculpted away by the airflow moving around the car. The interior represents a bold, fresh statement for Lotus. It's a combination of performance meeting up with technical artistry to give us something unique. Dynamic lines divide the interior space and they give us this really strong sense of precision and technology. The whole cabin has a very spacious, light, airy feeling, allowing you to really enjoy the drive. The ultra-thin wing profiles define the interior theme and beneath that there's a ribbon of technology that runs across the car. The interior is driver focused and we are demonstrating our belief and conviction in the role of technology to truly make it a Lotus. Progressive, fully electric, a fantastic lifestyle product. Electra brings the theory of carved by air to a new level through visual light weighting and also embracing the concept of porosity. Rather than just pushing the air up, over and around the car, Electra is designed to be completely porous. It allows air to pass into the bodywork, channeling it to improve performance. The sharp nose section at the front of the car divides the air. The bypass ducts beneath channel that air back up onto the top of the hood. A powerful air curtain located beneath the headlamps channels air through the car, exiting into the wheel arch, further reducing the drag. An extraction vent behind the front wheel draws air out of the wheelhouse and carves a path down the side of the car. The sculpture is reflected at the rear of the car, where we have, again, a large extraction duct which draws air out of the wheelhouse. A duct through the D-pillar helps control the wake. The winglets on the roof help keep the air attached all the way down the rear screen. This generates all of the power in the active rear spoiler, which helps us to dynamically balance drag and downforce. We also use air for cooling. The grille shutter on the front of the car opens and closes dynamically depending on the requirement to cool the drivetrain and the battery pack or to reduce drag. The philosophy of Carved by Air allows us to visually reduce weight, optimise performance and gives Electra stunning design features. What we have tried to achieve from the ground up is to design and use the technologies that will give the maximum experience for the customer. 
it starts with an unforgettable welcome. Electra greets you when you approach and then prepares you for the journey you're trying to take. With LiDAR being part of the intelligent driving system for Lotus Autonomous Driving, we have integrated the LiDAR units inside the roof and also in the fenders. The daytime running lights are super thin design, adding to the lightweight philosophy of Lotus. The other lighting functions are almost hidden behind the surface. The tail light is of a very thin blade design. It not only shows the function while it's driving, it also gives the information while the battery is in the state of charge. The use of community lighting continues inside the cabin. The single blade taillight design is mirrored to provide and to be a part of the driver interface. The super slim display allows for the reduction in the cabin and also demonstrates high technology. It is a digital experience for both driver and the passenger. The asymmetrical technical interface located in the tunnel of the vehicle provides a swift access for the driver for the controls. The combination of all these technologies creates a last impression for the driver and the user of the car.